Monday Morning Blues Monday mornings always found Tom Sawyer miserable because with it began another week's slow suffering in school. Tom lay in bed and thought, If I were sick, I could stay away from school and go fishing. He thought further about it. But despite all his attempts to detect some symptoms, he could not find anything wrong with himself. He, his hopes began to fail. Suddenly, he discovered something. One of his upper front teeth was loose. He decided to use it as an excuse for not going to school. He was about to start moaning. He remembered that if his aunt came to know, she would pull it out and that would hurt. So he decided to use the tooth as an excuse some other day. He went back to thinking of some other way to fake illness. He remembered hearing the doctor describe an illness that caused a patient to lose a finger. The boy eagerly drew his sore toe from under the sheet and held it up for inspection. It seemed worthwhile to chance it, so he fell groaning on the bed. But Sid, who lay in the next bed, slept on. Tom groaned louder, but no result from Sid. Finally, he got up, shook Sid hard and then went back to his bed groaning. Sid yawned, stretched then brought himself upon his elbow with a snort and began to stare at Tom. Tom went on groaning. Tom, what's going on? asked Sid, frightened by the noise Tom was capable of producing. No response. Hey Tom, Tom, what is the matter, Tom? Tom moaned out. Oh, don't, Sid. Don't juggle me. But I must. Don't groan like that. Tom, it's awful. How long have you been groaning this way? Hours. Oh, don't Sid. I am dying. No, Tom, you ain't dying. It makes my flesh crawl to hear you. What is the matter? I must call auntie. I forgive you everything, Sid, said Tom in a fresh bout of groans. When I am gone, you give my window sash and my cat with one eye to that new girl who comes to the town and tell her. But Sid had flown downstairs and informed Aunt Polly. Come quick, Auntie, Tom is dying. What rubbish, I don't believe it. But the poor lady hurried upstairs with Sid and Mary at her heels. Her face grew white and her lips trembled. What is the matter with you, Tom? She cried. Oh, auntie, my toe. What is the matter with your toe? Oh, auntie, my sore toe is going to fall off. The old lady sank down in a chair with relief. She laughed a little, then cried a little, then did both together. This made her feel better. She said, Tom, you really did frighten me. Now, you stop this nonsense and get out of your bed. Tom felt foolish at his act now. That he was caught, he said. Auntie, my toe hurt so much that I wasn't worried about my tooth at all. What is the matter with your tooth? Well, one of them is loose and it aches awfully. Open your mouth and let me see it, said Aunt. Yes, it is loose. All right, but you're not going to die because of that. Mary, get me a silk thread and a chunk of fire out of the kitchen, Tom said. Oh, please, auntie, don't pull it out. It doesn't hurt me anymore. Please don't. I don't want to stay home from school. Oh, you do, don't you? So all this drama was because you thought you'd get away to stay home from school and go fishing. Tom, Tom, I love you so much, but I am very unhappy with you. You seem to try every way you can to break my old heart with your outrageousness. By this time, the dental instruments were ready. The old lady fastened one end of the silk thread to Tom's tooth with a loop and tied the other to the bedpost. 
Then she seized the chunk of fire and suddenly thrust it almost into the boy's face. The tooth hung dangling in the bedpost now. Mark Twain was the pen name of the American writer Samuel Clemens. He was lauded as the greatest humorist the United States has produced. His novels include The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and its sequel The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. There are many interesting humorous quotations of Mark Twain. Listen to these. The human race has one really effective weapon and that is laughter. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. Apparently there is nothing that cannot happen today. You just listened to the story. Can you tell me why Tom Sawyer did, mo did not want to get up on Monday mornings? It meant going back to school. He wanted to work at home. He did not like Mondays. None of these. It meant going back to school is the answer. Tom began to groan loudly because his tooth was loose, his toe was sore, his feet hurt. None of these. Answer, none of these. Aunt Polly was angry with Tom because she did not like Tom. She was being unkind to him. She knew he was telling a lie. None of these. Answer. She knew he was telling a lie. Aunt Polly asked for a silk thread because. Because she wanted to take out Tom's tooth. Oh, that's right. But let me read the other options as well. She wanted to sew a torn shirt. No. She wanted to tie it around Tom's toe. No. She wanted to take out Tom's tooth. Right. So it cannot be none of these. Now tell me whether these statements are true. Tom held up his toe for inspection because he wanted to make sure that he could use it as an excuse for not going to school. True! Tom was groaning loudly because he wanted to tell everyone that he was false, enjoying false. himself. False, false! Okay. The dental instruments that Aunt Polly used were a silk thread and a chunk of fire. True! Aunt Polly loved Tom a lot. True! Tom felt foolish because his act was caught. True! Wow, you got it all right. Now, let us try this one. Find words from the story whose synonyms are given below. 1. Crying in pain. Moaning. 2. Pretend. Fake. 3. Terrible. Awful. 4. Excitedly. E eagerly. 5. Efforts. Attempts. Good. Let us try this one. Fill in the blanks in the sentences given with the help of expressions in the aid box. But remember, you might have to alter the expression slightly. I'm starting. Number one. On his way to the office, Mr. Paul's car broke down. 
there was no one to help him yeah car broke down number 2 the robbers broke open the safe and escaped with a lot of money let's dash for lunch we'll meet again after an hour at the same place the principal announced let's break up for lunch the thieves broke into the thieves broke into the house at night when everyone was fast asleep 5 the municipal corporation swung into action when they that malaria had dash in the city broke out in the city some pairs of words look similar four such pairs are given below let me see if you can pick the right one the wound took a long time to heal h e a l i think this point needs dash discussion further f u r t h e r good number 3 The mother gently dashed the baby on the grass. Lead L A I D. 4. Where did you dash the beautiful pen of yours? Lose L O S E. That's all. If you like the creation, please give us a like or subscribe. We thank you for watching our video. We are making more such educational videos. So press the bell icon.